startup is all the way from Israel and I like to invite on stage the founders of Gorilla Link. Thank you very much everyone for inviting us here. It's a great pleasure uh, to come to Surat in India. We're uh, Gorilla Link. I'll present uh, our technology shortly. But the main reason we are here is uh, basically to be introduced to the Indian market because we think our product uh, can fit very well to the Indian market needs. Uh, so this is uh, the main reason we are here. So to create contacts, networks, and of course investment. There are wide areas that are not connected to the internet. For a lot of industries, oil and gas, water, agriculture, one million new IoT devices are going online every day. So by saying IoT devices is a connected device to the internet. In order to be an IoT device, you must have an internet connection. Otherwise, it is just a device in the field. So we are looking at energy, food supply, supply chain, water treatment. All of these uh, markets needs connectivity. With these markets connected, basically we can have more food, more water, more energy. But if we have this data, we can uh, do some processing and uh, create more value. But how can we do this? How can we send this data to the internet and process it when 80% of the land of the earth, the land of the earth, not including oceans, is not connected to the internet? Or even if in this 20%, a lot of locations, uh, the internet is not stable. So 80% of the potential market is not reachable because we're unable to deploy the IoT devices in these locations. So it's bad for the business, but it's even worse for humanity because we can't get this data processed. As of today, the solutions are, you can use drones to collect this data, or custom-made satellite connectivity, or even send individuals to take the data out of the, dis of the dis uh, device. This is expensive and inefficient. We have 25 years of experience in both IoT, RF communication, embedded uh, device and satellite IoT, and together me and my brother Ron, which is all, also him, we created the Gorilla Inc in order to create a, an end-to-end -end solution for IoT devices uh, to connect them to the internet in a smart, seamless, and cost-effective way. We are partnered with multiple satellite networks providers. So, so basically, when we, uh, uh, this gives us a leverage in order to enter to the Indian market as well. Uh, we are backed by the Israeli Space Agency and the other uh, VCs in the space tech. So our solution is a platform, an end-to-end -end platform. For, so our customers can connect any device to the internet in a seamless way without the need uh, to know anything about satellite communication. When you, using, when you use Gorilla Link, you seamlessly connect any device to the internet. The satellites networks are increasing by 300%. So as of today, there are only a few satellites in space. By, by, by 2030, there are going to be 100,000 satellites in space. This means that every uh, new satellite constellation for us is like a new operator in the, in the land. So like a cellular operator. Uh, so there are a lot of opportunities and uh, uh, different types of uh, uh, implementation that can be done. Only if we're looking at the precise agriculture market, only at this market, this is a $16 billion market worldwide. So, this is just a short uh, movie. So, um, I'll be glad to take uh, questions. We are, uh, last week, uh, we introduced new partnerships with two uh, Israeli, uh, uh, listed company in the Israeli Stock Exchange. Uh, this is huge contracts for us. Um, we, we believe that uh, in the Indian market with the right partnerships, we can get a really good traction and uh, solve some really big problems. Um, and uh, yeah, I'd be glad to take questions.
Google is going to launch Google Home. So, what are your views on that thing? Is it going to affect your business or? Second, sorry. Google Loan, you know the project about Google Loan? Yeah. And Google Loan and similar projects are parallel to what we're doing. Yes, so yes. it does not affect us. Uh, on the other side, it can be very helpful for us to enter new markets, basically. This type of technology. It would be a competitor for you, no? Because Google Loan will be providing the internet service for all over the rural areas, as you see. Yeah, but it's different technologies, but only the the way that it's affects, like uh, Google Loan affects on uh, mostly uh, the public's and uh, the uh, the public publicity side. So it's not uh, it's not a complete uh, solution, and it's parallel to what we. But uh, so Google is going to like working on it. So Google, if Google comes and launches it, so it will affect a great full for this because it's already a big competitor. No, it's a different technology. It's a different use cases. Google. Sir, I request you to mention your ask to everyone. Ah, yeah, I will. So, okay. So, uh, for this uh, specific, uh, we are in the middle of a bridge round. So, for this event, we uh, have uh, we opened 150k US dollars uh, in a convertible loan agreement with 20% discount from the for the next from the next round. So if you can just highlight on your basic, like what's the outline right now and what's the milestone you have achieved with your customers, your attractions, anything on that one? Okay, so at, at the moment, what yeah, yeah, in the Israel. Okay, so at the moment we have five uh, customers. Two of them are uh, in the, um, uh, one is a satellite service provider, the second one is a satellite constellation, and the three other is IoT manufacturers and integrators. So we are looking to work with uh, IoT manufacturers or integrators or service providers. And basically, uh, together with them, they can uh, embed like an OEM, Gorilla Link uh, technology inside their devices. And uh, seamlessly, it's, a so it's both a software and a, a, and a module. So we have a module, a hardware mo module that can be uh, uh, integrated as an OEM inside their device and the software a library and the cloud. So with these three uh, modules, it's basically an end-to-end. -end. So with this uh, bridge round, we already raised $1 million, 500 from Techstars and other uh, uh, VCs, and 500 from the Israeli Space Agency. So it's $1 million. We are now in the middle of a bridge round uh, before our seed round. So with this bridge round, uh, we want to complete five uh, POCs or five customers, ten customers, uh, and uh, go to our seed one. What's your attraction for, like, what's your goal for the next two years? How many customers you are targeting and uh, how you want to penetrate in the Indian market? So, uh, you know, uh, for the Indian market, for, let's, let's, uh, two, two different, uh, so, uh, after completing the, from, from the moment of the seed round, not this bridge round, but the seed after it, uh, and we already have a lead VC for the next round. Uh, so now we have a show, uh, this bridge round is uh, we have a short period before we are in a no shop, like we cannot uh, add more investors. Uh, so with the seed round, we want to have in 18 months, we want to reach 2 million ARR and around 20 customers. Uh, this is our milestone for the uh, next 18 months. And uh, this will allow us basically uh, to make the platform as automated as possible. So uh, we will not need to do any type of uh, customization for each customer. So it, it will all be automated. This is the first thing. And for the Indian market, what we think that we need to partner with uh, maybe in the next eight, 18 months, if we partner with, with between uh, two to five uh, uh, service providers slash integrators, slash manufacturers, it will be a very good, uh, will be a very good place. So uh, uh, this is uh, for the Indian market. We already uh, start partnering, partnering with a bus company. Uh, we project around uh, 100K buses, uh, connected buses. So this is only for, for me being here one, uh, one and a half months ago. So probably with the right uh, connection, we can do my, uh, even a better penetration to the Indian market.
And uh, we believe that uh, telecom network is uh, there in each and every part of India. So uh, I want to know the most comparison with uh, GSM network and satellite network because it's a key point that to enter in the Indian market. So we are looking only the post part first because we have already telecommunication uh, everywhere. And uh, uh, second thing, the quality of uh, uh, you know the connection of the satellite. It is like as good as the normal Wi-Fi and GSM connection, or is there any issue or missing on that? So regarding uh, the connectivity in India, uh, what we know, what we get from uh, uh, potential customers is that there are a lot of uh, uh, blind spots. Right? So you do need to have some kind of inexpensive hybrid solution, and this is exactly what, what we want to reach. And if the 2G networks will be deprecated uh, by the government, as I, as we heard, uh, it's, it's going to happen, then the 4G and 5G, uh, it's very it's, uh, usually very expensive. So uh, it will be placed only in locations where you have uh, uh, population. So in remote location, you can have connectivity issues. This is uh, for India. Um, and uh, the second, ah, and what was the second question? Sorry. Sorry. Ah, the quality of service. So it's similar to NBI IoT, so to narrowband IoT, the quality of service. So uh, uh, the, the bandwidth and the and the, and the, the both the bandwidth and the transmission uh, uh, capacity. So it's not in, it's not fast in, it's not it's not like Starlink uh, broadband internet. Is uh, IoT? It's for IoT and the. Uh, yeah, this type of connectivity. Uh, what is the process of retrofitting your hardware product to an IoT device? Is it, you know, more of a plug and play model, or is it where the IoT manufacturer has to, you know, redesign the product altogether, the manufacturing process? So, so the IoT manufacturers already uh, put with, even with the cellular, they uh, have this process of uh, uh, installing different type of modems inside their IoT because uh, if, you're, uh, um, if you're sending it to different locations, sometimes you need to have a different uh, type of, mod of modems. Even if the, uh, there is one company that is making a different uh, model that is less expensive than the other one, they always want to be able to do it. So this is the same with Google. If they get our uh, design and they can embed it inside or they can get a development kit and start working. So it's both a design and a software in the edge device, and in the gateway of the edge device, and then uh, the cloud. And it's and it's also uh, encrypted. So uh, the customer encrypt the data with their own keys, and they have uh, their keys in the cloud as well. So the data is both encrypted in the edge device and in the cloud. How long does it take to integrate? So uh, uh, from our experience, we have uh, at the moment two customers that integrated. It's three months. Like uh, what you said about 150k, you want to raise, but uh, sorry to forward on the valuation part. So what's the valuation? So uh, since since we have, last week we have these two contracts signed. So it was a four months uh, <laughs> project for us to sign this, uh, and it's big contracts. So uh, what uh, we basically decide is to to have no cap, like a CLA with a no cap, only 20% discount. But we can talk about it later. I mean, uh, this is what uh, we, in private, we can say, maybe we can. Definitely, definitely. And what's the sales, like uh, these two customers can give uh, the next, whatever the previous customers we have signed for the two. Uh, this one's the yeah. sign. It's yeah, a, for it's, the sale. It's a, I, I can just say it's a, a seven million for yeah. the next seven million US dollars for the next three months, uh, three years. Okay, okay. So it's a complete project for given to Sorry. So it's a complete project given for the three years of the time ten years. The two companies which are associated with you, they have given seven years contract or three years contract. With three you. years contracts. Okay. Uh, no, no. In the this the next three years. This uh, this agreement is estimated at seven million dollars. Okay, so it's a pre pre we can say the pre orders kind of thing for you. It's a it's a pre pre transaction or agreement. Yes. Yes. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you very much.